How's it, chaps? Quick update from the Bird and Bulls garage. And this is something that you guys have been asking me to do for a very long time. What is that? Well, how to remove the chuck on one of these. The DeVault DCD796 brushless drill. <laughs> now, of course, this is my shirt. It's just an outline here. Uh, but here is the real drill. And it's probably going to carry over to the DCD596 and the 996. But today, we are going to have a look at this one specifically. So let's get started. See, here's the thing, there are not a lot of people talking about exactly how to remove these drill chucks. Now, there is a forum or two and a YouTube video or two, of course, on YouTube, uh, which I have shared with you guys uh, in the comments to the teardown of this specific drill. I'll put them in the description, you know, there about you guys know how to find these things. Um, but it wasn't very clear and I wanted to make a really nice video. So that's what I set out to do. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that I was unsuccessful sort of unsuccessful so I guess maybe this is a video to show you what not to do if you don't want to damage your drill now this drill still works perfectly fine and bear with me here don't click away yet uh, don't give the video a thumbs down think about it this way comment on the video give it a thumbs up and let's get YouTube to share it and uh, recommend it to as many people as possible and then those of you you know maybe it gets recommended to somebody that has been successful at uh, removing one of these chucks and they can share their experience. So think about it that way. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments um, So yeah, let's get let's get into exactly uh, how I tried <laughs> to remove my chuck So I started off by using a t10 Torx driver to remove the four fasteners holding the gearbox onto the clamshell of the drill Now there is a small relief on the plastic ring where you set your various torque settings You need to align this relief with each fastener before you take it out Once the four fasteners have been removed, you can slightly pull out that gearbox assembly. But before it comes out all of the way and is completely free, you're going to need to unclip the small U-shaped wire lever setup. So either end of this clipped little setup here is clipped into the edges of the gearbox and that's what shifts the gearbox between the high and the low speeds. Now that the gearbox is completely free, you can see that it's quite a small little unit and we need to take this thing apart in order to access the output shaft on the gearbox. And that shaft is the bit that directly drives the chuck. So a couple of fasteners to take loose here, just six normal Phillips head screws. When you lift the plastic cover off the top of the gearbox, just be careful, there are a lot of loose little gears and stuff and you don't really want to be losing these things. So I guess the best option here is to stack everything up in order so that uh, you know exactly how to put it back together, you know, once that time comes around. Once you remove the second stage of the gearbox, you'll see that there's five small little roller pins. Guys, don't lose these pins. They are part of the self-locking mechanism. So uh, there is also a small little steel cage that can be removed. So what I ended up doing was taking this whole lot out together. Last thing to remove are the six pins that are part of the clutch. Again, don't lose these things, they are fairly small. So 
So this is the shaft that is connected directly to the chuck. And from what I read and saw online is that we need to grip this end of the shaft to be able to unscrew the chuck. We can see the shaft has got two flats, so I decided to use a shifting spanner, tighten that up, and then grip the shifting spanner in a vise. Next up, uh, I took a number 10 Allen socket, tightened that up in the chuck, and we're going to hit this thing with an impact wrench. Now, I thought this might be the best method because using an impact wrench is gonna give it short, hard hits uh, to try and crack the threads loose. So, supposedly this chuck has a normal right-handed thread, so turning it counterclockwise should sort of loosen it from the shaft, if you will. Clearly you can see I'm not having any luck using an impact wrench, so as a last ditch effort I swapped out the shifting spanner for an older style shifting spanner, now these can be tightened up a little bit more, and then I put uh, a cheetah bar onto that same allen head socket and tried putting a, quite a good amount of pressure on this whole lot to release it. And as I was turning this thing, I could feel the shaft talking up, basically twisting up like a spring. And I didn't want to push it any further than what I did because it literally felt like the shaft was going to shear off. Fuck, you can feel that shaft twisting. So there you have it guys, that was my attempt at trying to remove the chuck. So clearly I wasn't successful, although I didn't want to push it anymore and then end up damaging what I've got. I mean these drills still work perfectly fine. So again, if you guys know any different, please leave some comments. Um, let's, let's try this thing, give the video a thumbs up, leave comments, let's see if we can get YouTube to recommend this and uh, so that it gets shared with a lot of people and then they get back to us and then we can continue this video, pick it up at a later stage. Guys, uh, sorry to disappoint if uh, <laughs> if this wasn't exactly what you were looking for, but I did try uh, for you guys. And um, yeah, I guess uh, thanks for joining me. Catch us in the next video and we'll see you next time. Cheers.